Hi there and welcome. The wonderful people over at Galan's has sent me this Toast Wave 4 in 1 oven to share with you. So let's take a quick little peek at all the features and we'll make a little something to see how this Toast Wave oven does. Now let's go right into the features. We're going to start over here on the left. We'll get into this big old knob in a little bit. You have a toast function, bagel, broil, air fry. You know I'm definitely going to try that out in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. You have your bake function, pizza, which is what we are going to do today. We are going to test out a frozen pizza and see how this does. You have a warm button and your convection. And over here on the right side is your microwave functions. You have your stop and cancel, sensor cook, and sensor reheat, which we'll get into more of that in a little bit. You have a popcorn button, your clock and timer, your start button, a 30 second button, microwave button, which I'm pretty sure that microwave is the default on here, so you don't have to push this every time. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. And you have a defrost function and you have a lock, which you can turn off the turntable inside of the microwave if you need to. Now let's open this up. I'll show you what comes with this oven and what it looks like inside. Now I'll open this up and I'll show you what all comes with this Toast Wave oven and what the inside looks like. Right here on top is what you use to air fry. It's two pieces. Here's the base, and here's the top where you place your food. This looks to be about the same size as my air fryer basket in my Cook's Essentials 5.3 quart air fryer. It comes with this red silicone mat. This is to be used when you microwave, also for your sensor cook and sensor reheat. Might be a few other things you need this for. In the user's manual, it will tell you when you need to use a silicone mat. And of course you have the turntable. On the bottom there are heating elements. Inside is stainless steel. I have a feeling this is going to be very easy to clean. With the oven door open over here on the right is a cooking chart for your reference. Now let's talk a moment about the sensor cook and sensor reheat. I'm just going to read off on what Galan sent me. So sensor cook and sensor reheat has a built-in humidity sensor, ensures that your food is never under or overcooked for pre-cooked dishes. Sensor reheat stops automatically when food is hot and ready to eat. That is pretty cool. And just in case you are wondering, this is 1.2 cubic feet, 100 watts of power, and 11 power levels. Now let's check out that pizza function. I'll go grab a frozen pizza and we'll see how this does. You know what? Before I grab that pizza, we need to preheat our oven. So this is where this knob comes into play. This is where you adjust your minutes and temperature settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push the pizza button. Now the pizza function has four different temperature settings you can choose from. It starts at 350 degrees, then it goes to 375, 400, and 425, which is what I'm going to choose. So I'm going to push on this knob. Now it's asking me how long I want to cook the pizza for. I am not sure, so I am just going to start out for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to press the style button again. Now it just started. It's preheating. As soon as it's done preheating, it's going to beep and tell me to add my food. So as you can see, it's all preheated and it's telling me to add my food. Place my pizza right on top of that turntable. Close it up and push in on the knob. The lovely people over at Galan's has offered to give away to one of you one of these Toast Wave 4-in-1 ovens. I'm sorry, but this giveaway is for U.S. residents only. 
Here is what you need to do to be eligible for the giveaway. Again, you must be a U.S. resident. Also, you must be a subscriber of my channel. Galans also ask that you follow them on their YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram pages. I will leave links down below to their social media sites so you can run over and do that. Once you do that, leave me a comment down below and tell me what is the first thing you would make in your Toast Wave oven if you were to win. That way, I will also know that you want to be entered for this giveaway. I will not be replying to any comments, but I will leave you a heart to let you know that I've read your comment and have you in for the drawing. So be sure in your comment to let me know what is the first thing you would make if you won this Toast Wave oven. The deadline for this giveaway is January 31st at 11.59 p.m. Central Time. On February 1st or February 2nd, I will draw a winner and post that video for you. A huge thank you for Galans for offering to do this giveaway. It is much appreciated. Now, let's go check on that pizza. Okay, the pizza has been in for almost nine minutes, and I believe this is ready to come out. Nicely done and crispy. I'm going to leave links down below where you can purchase this Galan's Toast Wave 4 in 1 oven if you are interested. I would like to thank Galan's again for giving me the opportunity to share this with you and also for giving one of these away to possibly you. Good luck, and remember, the deadline is January 31st at 11.59 p.m. Central Time, and I will announce the winner either February 1st or February 2nd. Thank you so much for watching.